Welcome back to the Civic Arena in Pittsburgh. With me in this first intermission, one of the most exciting players in the history of the National Hockey League, Paul Coffey. And Paul, you've got to feel a lot more comfortable this year than you did last year at this time. Well, there's no doubt about that. I think that last year was a bit of a difficult situation for me coming into Pittsburgh after having contract problems with the Oilers and then playing a few games and then hurting my knees. So it was a bit of a tough year. And all summer, I really look forward to this year, and I'm excited about it so far. You feel this is a pivotal year as far as your career is concerned? You feel you have to have another Paul Coffey type season? Well, I think so. You know, for this hockey club, for Pittsburgh, and plus for myself, I think could, after having two years uh, plagued by injuries with my back, two years going last year with the contract problems and then the knee injuries, it's important for me, for myself, to have a good year confidence wise and important for this hockey franchise to have a good year and get in the playoffs. The Smythe division and the Patrick division somewhat different. The Smythe was a little bit more offensive, the Patrick more defensive. Would you have to change your style in this division? Yes. Yes, I definitely do. I think that, you know, just the two teams, the Oilers and the Penguins, just the personnel is definitely different on the team. And this division is so tight that you can't afford to be taking a lot of chances and giving up goals because, I mean, last year between first and last place was seven points. And you know, if we're going to be in the hunt again this year, we've got to be bearing down all the time. Are you going to be as offensive minded or are you going to be rushing less or more? I would say probably less because we don't have the, you know, with Edmonton we had Curry and Messi and, and Wayne and Anderson, a bunch of guys up front that you could play with. You know, not that we don't have great talent in this hockey club, we do. It's just a little bit different. Our style is different, so I don't think I'll be rushing as much. You had Grand Fuhr in Edmonton, so you could take chances here. You've got three young goaltenders and uh, you might have to be more conservative. Do you feel your goaltending is good enough to get you into the playoffs? Yeah, our goaltending is good. I think that. You know, from last year, that might have been a question mark, what we were going to do about our goaltending situation. But three guys we got, and Steve Gannett, uh, Wendell Young, and Rick Tabaracci come into camp and played very competitively, the three of them, and they're all fighting for a spot right now. And it's good to have that on a team, and hopefully they'll be able to carry the load. What about the new system here with new manager, new coach, uh, Gino Briaco? How is it different, say, from last year? Um, I like it. I, You know, Tony's come in and done a good job, changed a lot of things around, and the communication is a lot better now. We've got Gene Ubriaco, our head coach, and two assistant coaches. Uh, Rick Kehoe was here last year, and, and Rick Patterson from Chicago as well. We hired as an assistant coach, and all the guys really respond to them. And the one thing we're doing this year that we didn't do last year is we're prepared a lot better. I think there's so much parity in the league right now. If you're not prepared for every game, you're going to be in trouble. So, so far we have been. It's been working out well. You've had great success against Chicago. You play against Chicago. You've had uh, 23 assists, 16 goals in 23 games. Why is it you have such good luck against them? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess just from the Edmonton days, we, you know, we had a pretty powerful team, and we used to like get fired up to go into the city of Chicago and play in that rink where the fans were loud. And you know, I had some some good success, and hopefully, I can keep it going. I'm sure you've been asked this question a hundred times about the the two great ones, Lemieux and Gretzky. Um, what's the difference between if there's any? Well, it's tough. They're they're both great players. There's no doubt about that. But their styles are a little bit different. I think just from a size standpoint, Mario's bigger, got a bigger reach, and a little bit stronger than Wayne. And Wayne is more of a get to the blue line, and more of a playmaker. But you know, I just you know, I just feel fortunate to have a chance to play with two of the best players that ever played the game. Well, it's a great pleasure to watch you play. You're one of the most exciting players in the history of the game. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. My guest was Paul Coffey. Stay tuned, Pat, and I'll be back with more after these messages.